Hello my little readers and welcome back to Storytime with Hannah and Patrick. Are you sitting comfortably? Yes? Then let's begin. And remember, watch through to the end to see our very funny bloopers. This week we are reading a stinkingly funny tale. Pooh! Is that you? by Claire Helen Welsh and Nicola O'Byrne, published by Macmillan. <laughs> Lenny the Lima was on a holiday in South America. He had found the perfect spot for a sunny summer snooze. When all of a sudden, the wind picked up a horrid, stinky smell wafted under his nose. Poo! Is that you? He glared at a millipede crawling towards him. I don't think so, the millipede replied. But I do let out a stink when I get scared, like this. The millipede curled up into a spiral and squirted. Lenny! gave the squirt a sniff. Mm, it was definitely disgusting. But it wasn't the whiff he could sniff. Lenny closed his eyes and tried to put the smell out of his mind. But the nasty niff hung around. Poo! Is that you? He said to the stink bird nesting in the mangroves. Sorry, said the bird, a little embarrassed. I do make a bit of a pong. It's all the leaves I eat. Lenny gave the stink bird a sniff. Mm, she was definitely pongy, but it still wasn't the whiff he could sniff. There was a rustling in the grass ahead. Someone wants my sunny sleeping spot, thought Lenny moving back into the sun to continue his snooze. But out ambled an anteater. Oh, Poo! Is that you? Lenny asked the anteater. Are you the horrid smell interrupting my snooze? Maybe. Possibly. I mean, I do stink. But have you asked the skunk? He's way smellier than me. How rude, called the skunk, who was playing in a hollow. Lenny gave both the anteater and the skunk a big sniff. Do you want to join me? Come on then. One, two, three. But neither was the whiff he could sniff. Whew. He settled down in his sunny spot to try and snooze. But it was no good. Whatever it was, the nasty niff was getting right up his nose. Poo! Was that you? He asked a tiny stink bug clinging to a leaf. Oh, you did frighten me, the stink bug replied rather crossly. And well, that makes me smelly. But when Lenny sniffed the bug a second time, he realised it still wasn't the whiff he could sniff. Oh, I need some fresh air, Lenny said, holding his nose and climbing higher. But up in the treetops, the smell was stronger than ever. Oh, poo! It was you, wasn't it? He said to a sloth lounging in the branches. You're the whiff that I can sniff. The sloth wasn't bothered at all. I am a little bit smelly, she replied slowly. I knew it, said Lenny excitedly. 
it probably stops other animals from eating you, doesn't it? Like the skunk. Not so. Actually, said the sloth, you see, by the time I get clean, I am all ready, dirty again. That greenish tinge you see on me is algae and it can cause quite a stink. Yuck, thought Lenny, but he wasn't interested in the details. He just wanted to sniff the sloth and nailed the nasty sniff. He took a deep breath and... Oh, you do stink, but it's not you either. Have you tried the giant pelican flower, said the sloth. She showed Lenny the way. And eventually, a little time later, when they finally arrived, Lenny leaned over the plant and took a deep sniff. Are you ready? Three, two, one. It was definitely, oh, the worst thing he had smelt that day. But the giant pelican flower was not the whiff he could sniff. Poor Lenny's sunshine snooze was ruined. The other animals gathered around him. What's the smell like? asked the millipede. Maybe we can help, said the stink bird. Well, sighed Lenny, it's musty and stuffy and a little bit icky and it seems to be hanging around me. The millipede and the stink bird took a deep breath. then looked at each other and giggled. <laughs> Poo, they said. Lenny, it's you. Me, said Lenny. Me, it can't be. He carefully sniffed his wrists and shoulders. Phew. So it is. It was me all along. Happy that he'd found the source of the nasty niff. At last, Lenny set off for his sunny summer spot with a spring in his step. Now that he knew it was his own whiff he could sniff, he didn't mind the nasty niff at all. Wait! called the stink bird. What do you use your smell for? Watch this, said Lenny. <laughs> oh, we're off! <laughs> Finally, some peace and quiet, said Lenny. He settled down in the perfect spot for a sunny summer snooze when, all of a sudden, the wind picked up. A dirty, sweaty, cheesy niff wafted under his nose. Poo, he said. Is that you? <laughs> and on the final two pages, 
there are some super stinky facts. But I think you should go buy this fantastic book and read them yourselves. But the last thing written is, did you know you're one of the stinkiest creatures on the planet? Unlike most animals, humans release smells from nearly every body part. If you don't wash, you'd be pretty stinky. Well, I'm glad I've showered today. <laughs> the end. Well, we hope you enjoyed that, my little readers, and we will see you again very soon. It's goodbye from me and a big bye-bye from Patrick. See you soon. Story time with Hannah and Patrick. Pooh. tried the jar the aunt pelic <laughs> oh, it's fun being a sloth have you <laughs> have you <laughs> okay Brrrr! <laughs> <laughs>